Happy Easter ulit. So we are moving already to the second Sunday of Easter. That is April 7. Um, I said last Sunday na so happened that March 31 was also an Easter Sunday in 1521. And that was the Mass at Limasawa Island. And so we commemorated also a Sunday of Easter last Sunday on March 31, but 500 years now and three, 503 years after. It's so heartening because we still have the faith in spite of a length of time like 500 years. No? The sad part is that some countries have had the faith for over thousands of years, uh, maybe 1,200, and yet they have lost it. Because it's not the length of time that we have the faith. It's not the length. But rather, it's uh, how a generation like you like us, can transmit the faith to the next. If we don't, then it ends after us, immediately. Example for me, no? if this was a regular Filipino population where 60% are below 24, no one is below 24. And so we are all senior citizens according to that. We are far above 24 years old. Diba? So maybe through you, Sana, you can influence the 24-year-olds and below. Kasi unless we could transmit it to them, wala na. Maubos. Although I, I was last Good Friday, I had to go away from Mendiola, San Beda, where I was giving a retreat for the whole Holy Week in the morning. And I took the car because I was having another conference or reflection on the Good Friday in uh, Santuario de San Jose. So I had to go through Santa Mesa. Ramon Magsaysay. No? I was so happy because there was a man with his red Nazareno shirt, no? Um, more than red, it was uh, deep purple, no? Uh, velvet red, if you want to call it. And behind him were two boys, probably at the age of 10 and 11 or 12, walking bare feet and going to Quiapo. Instead, others I met walking already away from Quiapo, I believe, no? They have been to Quiapo. So every Good Friday, not only on January 29, we have people having a devotion to the Nazareno. Interestingly, brothers and sisters, those who go to church more often, they are having a devotion. Like this Wednesday, how come many people are in church? Perpetual help. Probably Fridays because of Sacred Heart. Diba? Or, ewan ko, makailan bang St. Jude? Thursday. So, Tuesday is St. Joseph. Diba? So, when you have a devotion, you would go to church and eventually, you will receive a kind of adult education, adult catechism, and you can now have something to share. So hopefully also this Bible study, uh, it's meant for you not to study with me, but hopefully if you could replicate it where you are. Do the same. As, that's why I'm giving you the instrument. No? And uh, this is available, of course. At behind, you could see uh, Word and Life publications. I was happy that um, while well, I could only buy a few copies, no? and... Uh, give it out, 
but all 3,000 copies were sold out the one of uh, February and March. So it's beautiful because, and I heard that maybe those people who were following us in the YouTube or uh, Facebook, when I announced that this is found in Word and Life also, they have a Shopee that you could receive from Shopee. You could get this booklet via, uh, via that logistic company through Word and Life publication. Okay, so we are on the <clears throat> second Sunday of Easter. Um, we, of course, would work by going first at the gospel and retrieve our steps to the first reading. Now, just to avert you, all Sundays except Easter time. Ito. All Sundays and days, except Easter season. Easter season do not have Old Testament. Alam niyo bakit? Because it cannot be predicted. The Old Testament is a prophecy to look forward to the resurrection? No. Impossible. Nobody could ever imagine that a dead man can rise again and die no more. Diba? Kasi merong gumagaling eh. No? Nawala ng malay ng three hours, four hours even, no? Nagkomatos, biglang nagising. Pero at certain point, namatay uli. I mean, namatay na naman. In fact, all that Jesus did during his life before his resurrection, all those he cured, like Lazarus, he even raised from the dead. Huh? Lahat sila namatay. Siya lang ang namatay at muling nabuhay at di na mamamatay ulit. Lazarus was raised up and died again. So, iba, no? Now, this phenomenon or this event, this faith event, because we are Catholics and Christians, we can imagine that all the whole world will never be able to prophesy and say, Ha? Huh? Talaga? Nangyari? Well. So that is the gospel of Emmaus we heard today. Okay, let's go to the gospel. And we will see that the gospel every second Sunday of Easter is about Thomas. Okay? Si Mang Tomas. Okay. Chapter 20, 19 to 31. Okay? So, we have a reading. Since uh, Michelle is here. Michelle, can you read for us? A reading from the Gospel of John. Chapter 20, verses 19 to 31. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger into the nail marks and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Not a week later, his disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst and said, Peace be with you. 
Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief, you may have life in his name. The Gospel of our salvation, praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, what we shall do ho, is we will make Kibai. I think you have it on the LED boards, the text that comes from the same Gospel that we read, John chapter 20, 19, 19 to 31. What we shall do is just we will ask questions, and the answer is the text, no? Basa. It's like an elementary style methodology, pero pag um, tinanong ko, kasi galing naman sa text ang tanong, para maging sagot yung text, so tatlong beses na natin nagamit. Binasa ni Michelle, ngayon tatanungin ko using somehow indications in the text, and then sasagutin nyo by reading the text, so three times na natin in one sitting, we have used the text. So ito po ang aking tanong on the first, uh, on the verse 19, okay? Mahaba-haba po ito. We can cut this, no? So on the verse 19, anong araw na linggo ito? Anong oras? At nasan ba mga disciples? Sige nga, on the evening, For fear. So, ano, sino ang dumating? Batapos siyang sabihin ang peace be with you, what did he do? Ano reaction ng mga disciples niya? Now, what did Jesus say again to them? So, pinag-usapan na niya, no? Ang Diyos Ama. Siya, ang Diyos Ama. Tapos, ngayon, binigay niya sino on verse 23. And when he had said this, ayon. So, Trinity na tayo. Ha? Kung paano ako pinadala ng Ama, ako ngayon, pinapadala ko kayo. At para kayo, magawa nyo ang pinapagawa ko sa inyo, tanggapin nyo ang spiritong banal. Bakit? Ano ba pagagawa niya sa kanila? Verse 23. Okay. Thus ended the day, the first day of that week. Verse 19 na po ito. Ano nangyari sa chapter 20? Verse 1 to verse 18. Meron na nangyari nun. Number 1. Si Mary of Magdala pupunta sa tomb. Nakita niyang bukas. Nakita niyang walang laman. Tumakbo siya sa mga disciples. Nakita niya si Peter and the disciple Jesus Love. Nireport niya parang ninakaw ata ang katawan ni Jesus. Nagpuntahan yung dalawa doon. And what they saw was actually an empty tomb and the linen that the body of Jesus was wrapped with na inaiwan doon. And then, they all went out. Tapos na. Wala sa nakita eh. Except the disciple that Jesus loved said he saw but then believed. Pero, part of it is that Mary of Magdala stayed. Tumakbo yung dalawa, sumabay din si Mary of Magdala and nakita niya si Jesus. Nagpakita sa kanya si Jesus. That morning, hindi pa to nakita ni Simon Peter 
and any other disciple. But si Mary of Bagdala na nagtsaga, naghintay, siya ang nauna sa mga apostoles. Pero kasi, merong message si Jesus. Sabihin mo sa mga apostoles, I am alive. Kaya ang tawag kay Mary of Magdala, is that the woman with seven demons that were taken out of her na exercise? No. Today, she's called the Apostle of the Apostles. Kung ang mga apostoles ay I send you, kasi apostol means, apostolain means to be sent. Discipleship is to learn. This one is to be sent. Si Mary Magdala was sent. So, yun ang nangyari. I have seen the Lord. Yun ang verse 18. Nakita ko siya. So, nandiyo tayo sa verse 19. no? Okay. So, nung gabing yon, isang araw na yan, absent si Tomas, di ba? So, ano ang absence na to? Anong effect ng absence si Thomas? Verses 24 and 25. Singa, Thomas called. So, the other disciples... Eksakto na sinabi niya ni Mary of Magdala. Ano sagot niya? Okay. So it means na itong mga pangyayaring ito ay nakita ng lahat. And even Thomas... No, either kid went on siya or nakita niya sa malayo ina na nangyari kay Jesus. Um, John's Gospel tayo. Yung tagiliran na no, sinibat siya is only in the Gospel of John. Dun lang yan sa Gospel. Yan. Sa tatlo ni Matthew, Mark, and Luke wala. Very distinguishing yan. Yang divine mercy with red and white. Kasi nga, it will be the time that Jesus, when he was already dead, sinibat siya and blood and water came out. Okay. So, ito si Thomas. Unless, di ba? Hindi ako maniniwala. Di ba? Hindi ba nakaka-insulto yun? Diba? Sinabi ni Mary of Magdala, I've seen the Lord. Hindi siya pinaniwalaan. So Jesus came that night and pinakita kagan ang kanyang kamay, tagiliran. Tapos, they have seen Him, they were happy. Okay? Oh. Sinabi nila kay Thomas ngayon, we have seen the Lord. Sabi niya, hindi ako may niwala sa inyo. So yung ginawa nila kay Mary of Magdala, ha? ginawa sa kanila ni Tomas. Nakakala mo, ha? Kayo lang pwedeng ganyan, ha? So, ayaw yung maniwala kay Mary of Magdala, ayaw yung maniwala sa kanyang mga kasama. Masakit yun, di ba? Hindi ka paniwalaan. Anyway, one week later. So verse... 26 na po tayo. What happened the next week, please, now? Now? Peace be with you. Almost exactly the same as the first part of verse 19. No? When the doors were locked, Diba? And then he stood in their midst. Ayun na naman. Jesus came and stood in their midst. Verse 19. And what did he say? Peace be with you. Diba? So, consistent. Ika nga, consistent. Ngayon, wala nang padigoy-ligoy. 
So in verse 27, kanino siya pumunta? Then, Okay. Tanong ko lang, nilagay nga niya ang kanyang daliri at ang kanyang kamay? Of course. Di ba? Sabi niya, unless eh. So, natikman niya tuloy ang kanyang sinabi. Pinatikim sa kanya ni Kristo. Ha? Gusto mong durudurin ang aking sugat? Gusto mong ipasok ang kamay mo sa tagalira ko? Sige Diba? Meron kayang nagtanong ng ganun kay Padre Pio? Totoo ba yan? Meron kayang naglagay ng finger ng mga Franciscan? Becky ata yan eh. Diba? But it's true, diba? He died with the stigma. I don't know in his sight kung meron siyang wound. Diba? Ano? He had a colostomy and the, also on the side. Meron din, lima? All five? Hindi ako sigurado. Hindi, hindi ko pa alam. Okay. So, yan. Okay. So, ganito. Okay. So, what did Thomas say about his experience? Verse 28. Ayan. Sino nagsasabi yan ngayon? Hindi, ngayon. Kayo? Nanay ko din, sinasabi yan. O, oh, ba? Okay, my Lord and my God. Okay? Panginoon ko at Diyos ko. It's what they say, the earliest statement of faith. Hindi ka si Jesus lang. Ha? Hindi ka lang magliligtas. Ikaw ay Panginoon. Divine. Ikaw ay Diyos at akin. Aking Panginoon. Siyang, uh, how do you put it, siyang nagkahari sa buhay ko. Sapagkat siya ang aking Diyos. My Lord and my God. And what in verse 29? Jesus reproved him. Jesus said, Ayon. So, sino ang blessed? Kayo po, hindi blessed? Bakit? I have not seen and yet believe. Sino kaya ang unang-unang-una na hindi nakita and yet believed? Si Paul. Si Mama Mary may salubong eh. Si Paul. Nag-ascend na si Jesus Christ eh. Di ba? Si Paul. And he was a great apostle. Oh, Shall we be less? We are in the same status. Eh? He did not see, yet he believed. Diba? Of course, he had got the experience of falling from the horse. Pero Paul is one of them. Now, ito na ang conclusion of the gospel. Although there will be a chapter one, but look at the conclusion. Verse 30. So, tapos na yung event. Tapos na yung resurrection scenes. Pangatlo na to, ha? Third time na to. Kasi kay Ma- Mary of Magdala. Tapos sa mga apostles nung kinagabihan. A week later, with the apostles and this time with Thomas. And of course, Mary of Magdala was there. I'm sure Mary, the mother of Jesus was there. Okay. Now, in verse 30, Ano ang conclusion ng evangelist? Verse 30. Ayun. Teka muna. 
Mga born again, nandiyan ba yung mga born again? Mga born again? There are many other signs, miracles of the resurrection that are not recorded in this book. So if we have faith, it's not because only of what is written. Also those signs that were not written, pero transmitted by word of preaching, by word of saying, kwento, narrations. But how come, verse 31, how come these signs or these manifestations of Jesus before He died and after He died, how come they were not recorded in this book? Please read verse 31. Ayon. One singular purpose why the fourth evangelist of this gospel wrote these signs. One focus that you may have life in his name. Dahil sa kanya, sa paniniwala sa kanya, meron kayong buhay. Pag-usapan ko yan sa Sunday. Ano kaya yung nakakabuhay? Pag-usapan natin mamaya ng konti. Anyway, so ngayon, ano ba ang ibig sabihin ng sign? Manifestation? Pag sinabing ganyan, sign ba yan? O, di ba? O. That's a sign. Diba? A sign of the cross. Peace. Oh, stop. Ano? Physical sign. That has a deeper meaning. Yes. Ano tawag doon? Ano yung deeper meaning ng sign? Significance. Diba? Spelling ng significance, sign then, But it signifies something more. What you don't yet see, but it actually signifies. And what does, what did I write? What did I record? Those signs, the most significant, the most important, that points, that signifies. What does it signify? Hindi, hindi ka nagbabasak, cheat. Basa, that Jesus is the Christ. Kaya lang, tingin mo na, isa-isa, the Christ. Ano ang the Christ? Ito ang kanyang ginawa. Messiah means the one who is the Savior. Anointed by God to set us free. Yun ang sabi palagi ng mga Hujo. And up to now, they're waiting for the Messiah. Diba? Look at that. Look at that. That is one thing that I would like to say. You don't believe in Jesus? Kawawa ka naman. Naghihintay ka pa rin. For nothing. Ayan. May good news ako dyan. I have a Jewish, Jewess, babae, Tamar, Rosanna, Rosanes. Tamar told me, Father Francis, with all the pilgrimages, pilgrims that are Filipino that have come to the Holy Land, with your fervor, with your devotion in the holy places, no, that I guide these Filipinos, I guide Americans, I guide Africans speaking English, I only saw this for the Filipinos. You pray. You're so devout. You have this kind of. Parang you exude something more than taking pictures, looking at places. No, you pray. Sabi niya, you know, I'm a Jew. 
I have a feeling that when our Messiah would come, ha? second coming the, sa inyo, <laughs> the end of time, marerecognize daw nila that He is the Messiah, triumphant, but for you, second time. Imagine, this is the conclusion of a non-believer. Why? Why? She met believers in the resurrection. Again, again. Baliktad. The Pharisees believe in the resurrection. The Sadducees do not. Okay? The rising from the dead. But later on yan, eh? later on pen. But they would not imagine somebody from the dead would rise. Anyway, so, there you are. All of what he wrote in his gospel is, has one purpose. That this Jesus of Nazareth you may even say his foster father is a carpenter. His mother is called Mary. You can rattle off his disciples. You can say that he was punished by Annas and Caiaphas. Exactly what the two disciples of Emmaus were saying. Alam nila lahat yon, But they did not see him in the resurrection. it did not mean anything in their life. Nothing. They have a knowledge of what Jesus said and did, but they don't experience that He is number one. What He did is to save us, Christ. Di lang. Pangalawa, doing and being. Hindi yung ano ginawa niya, ano yan eh, Sino ba siya? Son of God. Mas mahalaga yon. Mas mahalaga kasi sa cross, wala siyang magawa. Wala siyang ginawa. And yet the centurion said, but truly, this is the Son of God. Bakit? Wala namang ginagawa ang Diyos, di ba? Sabi nila, nang hindi naniniwala kasi hindi nila makita ang gawa ng Diyos pero ang daming tao nakakakita in different ways significant movements of God that to them because they believe in Jesus the Christ, the Son of God so many other things that happens around us today signifies something. They speak to them of God. And therefore, they are alive. They have a life. If you don't believe really in the Christ, malungkot ka kasi wala kang bag na 250,000 worth. At di mo kaya kasi bilhin eh. Yung sweldo mo, hanggang dun lang. Di ba? At most probably, yung bag na 250,000, nandyan by the way, I don't tell you the, the store. Nandyan. Dinadaanan ko. And yet, marami, binili yan, nakalagay sa tukador kasi baka manakaw. Di ba? Instead, pag nagdala ka ng, I don't know, parang eco bag, di ba? Pag hinablot sa'yo, wala lang, di ka magwawala. Pero pag yung bag na yun, nasira ng anak mo, naguhitan, naku, end of the world. Those who do not believe 
what kind of a life do they have? Ano yung bang, bakit ba sila buhay? And just imagine, if yun ang aim mo, makabili ka ng bag na yun, hapong-hapo ka na sa kakatrabaho. No? Pagod na pagod ka sa kakasave ng pera. And nung nabili mo, wala rin. Wala rin. Okay. Bag niyo ang sisihin, ha? Ako. Dahil dyan. Okay. That's the first reading. So, ito ngayon, sinabi ko kanina sa ating misa, um, walang Old Testament. So, ano ibig sabihin? Normally, sa Sunday, punta ka sa likod. Go back. Because of the gospel, now you can understand by hindsight, ito, fulfillment ng sinabi ng mga prophets. Diba? Ito hindi eh. Forward eh. Forward ito eh. Dahil ito nangyari, maintindihan nyo, after the resurrection, ano ang nangyari pa. So my dear Ariel, the bishop, Acts of the Apostles, tinan natin, ano nangyari because of the resurrection? Yes, please. You're reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 4, verses 32 to 35. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them, bring the proceeds of the sale, and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you. So sabi ko ha, because of the resurrection, now we will understand yung report ni Luke about the acts, the actions of the apostles. So we begin again. Maghimay tayo. Konti lang po ito ha. Uh, verses 32, 30, 34, 35. Four verses lang. <coughs> we begin on verse 32. Di ba believers to, ha? Ah? Ano ang quality, characteristic that somehow, somehow, believers were known to be possessing? Singa verse 32. Ayon, ha? Ah? Puso. Damdamin. Di ba? One heart and one mind. Paano mo alam na yun ang kanilang nagbubuo sa community nila? Tuloy natin. Ayan. What is obvious that they have one heart and one mind is that they treated what is material, hindi na kanila. It was a common good. Good for all. Kaya nga common good eh. It was no longer good for one. It could be a good that for all can share. Ba? I'll give you an example na. Tanong mo si sister. Kung kayo yung mga soltera, di ba? Wala kayong may television ka sa bahay? De, tanong mo lang, meron? May television kayo sa bahay? TV, wala na? Uh, ikaw, sa bahay. Tinanggal mo na. Hindi, TV, television. Meron. 
Sige. Sister, ilan ang telebi- ilan kayo sa bahay? Ilan ang television niyo? Ilan ang television niyo? Isa. Biro mo ko kabuka ka ni Chit, kailan mo isang television? At sa lahat ng kondong yan, tiki-tiki sa television. Sa kanilang madre, isa lang ang television. Pito sila. Magkano ang kanilang na-save? Anim na television. Di ba? Bakit? Because of their faith, they hold things in common. Di ba? Obviously na ang galing kaagad ng effect if you are a community of one mind, of one heart, hindi kayo magkakanya-kanya that you need one television each. You share. Pag hindi mo gusto yung show, eh, sorry. <laughs> di ba? Huwag ka ikot ng ikot o control ka ng control. Di ba? Allow. So maganda mag-agree. Pero syempre ngayon, because of the laptop, wala na kayong television. Hindi na kailangan television. Di ba? Di ba, cellphone? Okay. Kaya nga eh. Tira mo, very individualist tayo because of consumerism. Di ba? Di ba, bibili ng television. Pero sino kaya ang may mga television kalalaki? At bawat kwarto meron. O di ba? And yet, pamilya sila. And tuloy, ano ang effect? Hindi common ang kwento. Isa si NBA, isa si teleserye, isa si ganito. Pag nagkain-kain lang sila, andun pa rin sila sa kanilang teleserye, andun pa rin siya sa kanyang NBA. How could they be one mind and one heart? Di ba? If they don't share something in common. Ano ang net result? Di ba? Ano result? Verse 33. With great power, Yun, yun ang effect eh. Totoo ang resurrection. They were witness of that because of their tenor of life, the way they live, and the way they share their goods. And as a result on verse 34, of the apostles, and then, to their need. No one was in need. Everyone somehow felt that persons cared for him. Or people saw and they felt in their heart it's just correct to care for others. Sabi ni Chit, idealistic. Secret lang ito ha, huwag niyo muna masyadong sabihin. Itong description na ito, ha? Buksan niyo kaagad ang next. Kita niyo. May Ananias at saka Safira, ha? Na kukupit. This is, I should say, an ideal picture of the resurrection. Did it really, really happen? Well, it is a dream, but in some people's lives, it is very true. I know, I know very rich people. I can vouch to you. They eat with their kasambahay every day. They have no menu or food for themselves and another menu for the kasambahay. They were in this they, they are in the same house. They have a common place to eat, normally the kitchen. And the one that owns this beautiful house in Dasmarinas village eats with them. I was astounded. I was surprised. And 
they share exactly what she likes. And she buys what she likes. She's quite rich, very rich. And yet, the kasambahay, eat, at, eat it as well. And the drivers, plural. It happens. I know one person now that has 25 hectares of land. Pero yung 10, pinatitle na niya sa kanya mga kasambahay. So, nagtatanong siya sa akin, paano yung gagawin ko sa 15? Hindi ko masabi. Bigay mo na lang sa amin. We cannot eh. We cannot land bank kami mga salitians. We cannot own property without any purpose. Just to wait, land bank, and then sell Monday. Bawal. Bawal sa amin yan. We cannot invest our money. Wala, hindi pwede, by rule. Kasi sabi Don Bosco, you want to be poor, you work. Because those who are rich, no need to work. But if you want to share the lives of the poor, become a worker. Labor each day. It's happening. I know. It's my experience. It's my experience. I meet people and I am astounded. Maybe they're even better than those that we call are of the religious life. No? So there is an effect of the resurrection. It's very visible. Diba? Diba, I always tell you, how many clothes do you have? Diba? Si Mother Teresa, by constitution and by rule, all the sisters, if you want to join me, you have only two clothes. Meron palang isa on a special occasion. Pero dalawang ang sari mo. The one you wear and the one you washed this morning. Yung nasa laundry at pinapatuyo mo at yung ginagamit mo. Hindi ka pwede magpalit during the day. And that's why they don't go to invitations. Kasi very much, sometimes because of their work with the poor, ginakarga nila mga bata, ah, inaasikaso nila mga matatanda, di ba? Incontinent na, they smell urine. Mapanghe ang mga madring yan. And they don't have they are mapanghe. And if you visit them, hindi sila sabi, excuse me, mapanghe kami ha. Hindi. So when you invite them to eat outside, sabi lang, hindi pwede eh. They never accepted any invitation to eat outside. I saw them go for a mass because the couple is their benefactor and they had their wedding anniversary. But pagdating ng kainan, uwi na sila. Grabe, no? Pwede ba yun? It is. Why? Bakit may ganun? Ha? Yun. Yeah. Ba't di atin magawa, no? Hindi naman siguro kasi iba-iba ang ating state of life. Iba? We have different states of life. We have obligations to your family, kunyari, to your children. Iba? But it could be possible that even we have, ano, your trato sa ibang tao, mabuti. Yeah, Father, share ko lang yung Father. Di ba nabanggit ko sa inyo yung bridge namin doon, Father? na nag, uh, nangyari, tulugan na ng mga uh, poorest of the poor. Kasi nandun na sila natutulog, doon na rin sila nag -ano. One time, Father, nabutan ko, yung bombero, winash, ni, ni wash out nyo yung, ano, yung bridge na yun. Pero after several, ano, na, nag-dry na yung ano, pero talaga, Father, yung amoy nandun pa din. Kaya sabi ko, Oh God, I've seen the Lord. Sabi ko na lang ganun. Kasi ba sabi nga ni Jesus Christ, uh, na, 
uh, when do you see you, Lord, that you're, you have no food, you are in a no? Eh, sabi ko, kasi tawag ko dun sa bridge na yung Jesus Christ na, kasi I've seen the Lord every day. Yeah, pag nag-cross ako dun, going to our house, nakikita ko sila dun, Father. And they stay there, they, they uh, sleep there, then sa umaga, ganun lang yung buhay nila dun, Father. Yun. Do you know them by name? Do you know them by name? Ah. Okay. Good. Kasi ano po, meron kaibigan na uh, he drew this famous painting of street children or poor boys and girls eating with Jesus. Instead of apostles, the Last Supper is this. This is by Joey Velasco. He died at the age of 42. He started to paint when he lost the first kidney, 2005. And he painted that because he could not work anymore that hard. And he discovered he could paint. And it's a beautiful painting. In fact, Cardinal Rosales asked him if part of the painting can be part of his uh, feeding program for the poor. No? Yung, uh, yung, tawag dito? Yung 25 centavos? Anong tawag dito? Pondo Pinoy. Yes, Pondo Pinoy. Okay. Yung kahit mailit, pero pag malimit, aabot ng langit. Okay. And he gave it. We asked him, kasi he was a former Salisha namin, he had the sotana, but he got injured. He had an operation. He felt he might become a burden to us. He left the seminary. And so we borrowed it for our street children project. And the whole thing was there, and it was in EDSA. Not talking about the street children project that was in Makati. But one day, he felt, naging sikat siya no, pinag-uusapan, tinatanong, baano mo na ginaan, ginaan, ganun, ganun. One day, he said, ginagamit ko ba yung mga bata para maging sikat ako? So, you know what he did? He went back to where these kids were. Kasi pinu- kinunan niya nila ito eh. Ginawa niya parang kanyang model before he painted. Ito yung kanyang model eh. Binalikan niya sa ilalim ng tulay. Diyan sa Sergeant Rivera. Sa ilalim ng tulay. Ha? Sa mga sulok-sulok. And then he started to ask them their stories. Ang pinakamagandang story ay yung dalawang bata, ang kanyang ate nasa harapan, siya ay nasa likod, at siya ay nakasakay sa isang gulong. Yung tire, no, gulong. And yet, uh, they belong to a great family. I mean, mahirap na mahirap. Pero ang tatay, namamasada, ang nanay may konting tindahan ng sari-sari store. But they live in a house that they're never sure until when they could stay. Diba? So, nakita niya lahat ng story ng bawat isa. Alam niya kung sino yung pickpocketer, alam niya kung sino ang magaling magnakaw. And, he put up a book he wrote a book about them. Each of the twelve. Well, actually, eleven. Kasi yung, yung isang nakatuwad sa baba, ang tingin niya siya yun. Anyway, story short, niyawan niya ni bro, tapos, nung binabasa niya, ay, nung kanyang pinaprint yung kanyang painting, ginawa niyang mga faksimile, nandun siya sa isang Jollibee daw. May isang parang babae na may pagkabaliw or a bit spaced out. Tapos sinabing malakas na malakas. Ang swerte naman ng mga batang yan. Sabi niya, ha? But maswerte. They have Jesus. And nagkahanap siya ng title ng libro. And that's what he put. They have Jesus. Ang swerte nila. They have Jesus. But then, unti-unti, lumalim na lumalim, sabi niya, 
hindi ko maisip na I just painted them, I know their lives, and that's it. So, lumapit siya kay Tony Meloto. And now, he was able to put up a hapag ng pag Hapag ng Pag-asa Village. Through his friends, they came up with 12 homes. Yeah. Napabahaya niya lahat na may katikisem, may formation. Tinulungan siya ni Tony Meloto. Naganap siya ng lupa at napabahaya niya lahat. And so he painted a new retablo. And the new painting is Kapag ng pag-ibig. All the children, same faces, but happy faces, and eating good food this time. And about a few years after, siguro 2005, siguro mga 2009, he lost, 2010, he lost the second kidney. Dialysis almost every other day, daily, and then he passed away. July 21. I was with him. I was on the deathbed together with a family of four children and the wife. It was um, a beautiful story that I possess, that I treasure in my life. And um, he decided that all of his paintings, 38 of them, he would not sell. He was able to borrow a dialysis machine from Viel Aquino D. May ari ng Unilab yung asawa, si Dodo. And they put a dialysis machine in his, in his house and then he passed on. He depended on people, on people's goodness. Wow, he had 3,000 during his funeral. He went to Pinoy in Time Street and told him, you know, I feel you should become a president. Yeah. Anyway, story short, this is already his, next year would be already 15 years no, that he's been, he has passed on. 2010, now it's 2024. The child who is four years old is now in college and all of that. But di niya binenta ang kanyang mga painting? Sabi niya sa asawa niya, sana naman, pag ikaw ay nakailangan sa education ng mga bata, at least pwede mo sabihin sa kanila, yung painting ko ang nagbayad ng education nila. You know, when you're a painter and you're already dead, the painting fetches more. Diba? It's already a collectible. Hindi naman ulit eh. But the wife never sold a painting. Talagang kinayod niya na hindi niya pwedeng mawalan ng ni isang painting na kanyang asawa. At sabi sa mga anak, that will be your heritage from your dad. When I'm gone, kayong bahala. Kung yan ay magpapalaki ng iyaking mga apo, well and good. Sabihin niyo, yung lolo nila ang nagpalaki sa kanila because of that. Ba? So you see, the resurrection, the resurrection is there. You live beyond your death. When your heart is pure and your heart is poor. Diba? So, that's what we have. No one was in need. That's how it is. So that's why it says, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love is everlasting. If we experience that the Lord is good, you know, we'll try to be good as well, so that His love will last forever. We could share. Imagine it's 2,000 years now that Jesus has died and risen again. Nearly, ah, huh? uh, 1,967 years. Uh, no, no, sorry. 1,991 years na. Nine years from now is a 2,000th anniversary. In 2033. Huwag tayong mamatay, Chita. 
tayo mamatay. 2033, nine years from now, it's the 2000th anniversary. Imagine we celebrated this birth, year 2000. Papunta na tayo sa 33. Next year, first quarter na ng year ng 21st century, third millennium. Bilis ng oras, di ba? Parang kailan lang we celebrated with Pope John Paul. Now, I'm looking at celebrating the Jubilee of the Resurrection. And as I said, my advocacy is, sana ang ating, ang ating environment mas maging buhay para sa mga bata. Imagine, walang pasok sa Pasay today. Tama ba, sister? Kasi napakainit. Ha? Pati sa Maynila. Oh, dahil sa init, walang pasok. Dati may bagyo, walang pasok. Ngayon, init eh. Pwede paano? <coughs> Kasi public school, walang aircon. Siksikan. Kaya, kaya bukas kaya, walang pasok ulit. Wala na naman, two days na. Eh, kailan kaya matatapos yan? It will be worse seven years from now. When it hits two Celsius after the pre-industrialized, I know. We're now 1.5 Celsius. He hotter than 1800, the, the 19, 1900, pre-industrialized period. Because of industrialization, our world has become hotter by 1.5 Celsius more. Paano kayo maging apo niyo, Cynthia? Di ba? So we have to do something. We cannot continue this way. Okay. Um, last point po. We can only read it. So, that being the case, kita nyo kagad, no? Na, tinan natin ng konti. Sino, sino kaya si Tomas na hindi naniniwala sa first reading? Sa first reading, sa Acts of the Apostles. Sino kaya si Tomas na hindi naniniwala unless he sees and therefore will believe? Sino kaya? Ha? Those persons who own property and houses but would not sell them, they are those who do not believe. Diba? Kasi, binibilang nila eh. They want to touch. They want to see. They want to hold. Secure ka na eh. Ang sabi nila, Ginto na, naging bato pa. Yun. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, you can see that there is a Thomas here. Those who do not want to sell and bring it to the common good. Okay, so, if we go to the first reading, We'll just read it a bit. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ, the begotten by God, sa niya sa gospel, believing that Jesus is the Christ, the begotten by God, sa niya sa gospel, anong verse? Yes, Malu. Therefore, these are written, that verse 31. Gospel, verse 31. Pareho ba yan? Yes, Chip, visitation. These are written, the Son of God. Begotten of God is Son of God. Diba? 
so that he is the Christ begotten by God. Everyone, therefore, who believes that Jesus is the Christ, the begotten Son of God, everyone who loves the Father loves also the one begotten Him. So, una muna. Now, in this way, we know that we love, that we love the children of God when we love God and obey His commandments. For the love of God is this, now we keep His commandments and the commandments are not burdensome. Whoever is begotten by God conquers the world. And the victory that conquers the world is our faith. Who indeed is the victor over the world but the one who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? This is the one who came through water and blood, Jesus Christ, not by water alone, but by water and blood. The Spirit is the one that testifies, and that Spirit is truth. Kita niyo, water and blood, Divine Mercy Sunday, di ba? Divine Mercy. Pero kita niyo, na in-exemplify niya rito, that you have to believe and that Jesus is the Christ, the begotten one of God. And that therefore, if you believe, you will love. You will do His commandments. And ang love, the commandment dito sa first, second reading, is they sold their possessions and they shared it so that there was no one in need. Diba? Very clear connections dito. So ano kaya? Who are the people of the resurrection? Ano kaya yung mapupulot nating word of God telling us? Ano sila sabi sa inyo ng Panginoon from these readings? Meron ba siyang sinasabi? Meron ba siyang pinagagawa? Yes, Chit? Ano? Ay, dami. Isa lang. Uh, upon reflection, I think the only only one, sabi mo, Father, ano? if you really believe that Jesus is the Son of God and begotten by the, our Heavenly Father, do something that is beyond yourself. Hindi ka dapat selfish. Kaya nga, I also believe that that could happen that during that time, when the disciples uh, put together all their properties, they move as one, they, they ate as one. No one was in need. Walang needy ngayon. Ang dami-dami. Yun ang di ko maintindihan. Hindi naman ako makapag... <laughs> Ayaw akong pumunta sa politika. Fatal ng tao siya, Father. Pero yun, ang aking, ano, aking reflection... If you really believe that Jesus is the Son of God, do everything for Him. And not only, you do everything from Him through the people that you see and, and teach and, you know, live with. Yes. Now, uh, mahirap pakainin, tulungan lahat ng mahirap, di ba? Tama ba? Di ba? Yun ba ang kailangan para nandiliwala ka sa resurrection? Do you have to help everyone who is poor? Ano malo? Uh, katulad ng sabi ko sa iyo, Father, na yung sa bridge, mayroong isang girl doon, yung woman, alam mo, parang nakita ko talaga na uh, yung, yung nakikita ko sa kanya, Father, na in spite of wala siyang bahay, wala siyang ano, but he can speak English. Kaya na ano ako sa kanya, natutuwa ako sa kanya. At alam mo anong hinihingi niya sa akin, Father? Bible. Because he wanted to read the Bible. Tapos sabi ko, bakit? Sabi niya, because he believes in God, ganun, kay Jesus Christ. And sabi ko, bakit nga, why not give a Bible to her and bahala na siya mag-preach doon sa mga kasama niya? Kasi para sa akin, Father, I wanted them to, to ano, feel na don't worry, kasi sa, sa kingdom ni God, maraming bahay doon, and each one of you has a house. And hindi kayo hopeless, meron pa hope na meron pa magandang buhay 
stop uh, with Jesus, yung sabi mo sa kanya. Kaya yun yung ano ko ngayon, Father, yung realization ko, oh, ito yung aking resurrection. Uh, bibigyan ko siya ng Bible. And then, uh, so, bahala na si the Holy Spirit after that. <laughs> <laughs> Tapos dating si Born Again at sasabihin niya, and just a while, uh, may kilala po ako. Talagang ano lang, bait lang ang ginagawa niya. Although, nahalata niya, yung kanyang kasambahay may pagkatomboy. Actually, tomboy talaga pala. So pag nag, nag, uh, ano, nag o off day, kasama niya mga tomboy. Pero sa tagal-tagal ng panahon na kasama niya sa bahay, nagsimula na niyang dalhin sa simbahan. And she started to go to church. Ito nangyari nung Lenten season. Ha? Yung mga tomboy niyang kasama, dinala niya sa baklaran para magkumpisal. Ha? Nakagawa na kagad, no? Yung tomboy na to. Tapos last Good Friday, Sinabi niya sa mga tomboy, ha, mag-fasting muna tayo. Mami, ang gabi na tayo uminom. Kasi off day din eh. Pero nag-fasting the whole day. Tapos sabi niya, alam mo, mamski, yung tawag niya sa kanyang, at, yung, kasambay siya na itong tawag. Tapos sabi niya, mamski, ganun pala ang fasting, ano? Ha? Ay, parang hinihimantay nga talaga ako. Hinang, hinang, hina ako. O ito talaga nag-fasting yung Diba? Naka-experience siya. Now, this one story, ha? itong story yan to, ng isang tao na apektuhan niya ang kanyang kasambahay. Hindi niya tinatawag na tomboy, pero tinatrato niya parang kanyang anak. Ha? Ginagalang siya bilang isang tunay na adult. At ngayon parang mamski parang nanay niya. At dahil itong lady na to is very devoted to Our Lady of the Guadalupe and time and again nadadala niya sa prayer meeting. Ngayon, itong babae ito, no? Gumagawa rin ng kabutihan sa kapwa niya. Now, yung ba, dapat ba siya hindi maging tomboy? Kasi nagbago siya. Hindi ko alam. Pero definitely, maraming tomboy na kaibigan niya, baka through her ay nagbabago. Kaya nga tama si, Fa- si Pope Francis eh. Whom, who am I to judge? Kasi ang tingin natin, lahat ng tomboy masama. Pero who am I to judge? Diyan po sa Burgos, Makati, Poblasyon. Nagtaka si Bonsignor Santos, Jerry. May blessed mother. E doon siya nag-rosaryo sa gabi bago siya umakyat ng kumbento. Tapos sa umaga, mag-rosaryo siya. Naharata niya, nung gabi, ang statwa, nagdadasal siya. Kinamagahan, ang daming sampagita sa kabay. Ang mapirin. So, tinawag niyo yung gwardiya. Sabi niyo, sino naglalagay ng mga sampagita dito? Yung mga girls sa bar. They buy sampagita and they place it with a, a request, a prayer to the Blessed Mother. So, ano nangyayari sa buhay nitong mga taon to? Pagbabawalan mo ba? Dahil sila'y nagtatrabaho sa bar, na huwag silang pupunta sa statuan to? Yan ang fiducia supplicants ng Pope. Eh. Pag binles mo ba ang kotse, tinanong mo ba, kasal ba kayo simbahan? Tinanong niya eh. Would you ask whether they are... Di ba? Tapos nagpapabless sa'yo ang mag-asawa nito? Hindi man sila kasal sa imbahan, pero nagpapabless sa'yo? Bawal ba? So, 
Mahirap, no? Mahirap. Pero, kasi mayroon tayong mga prejudgments, eh. Na-label na natin ang mga tao. At sa atin, hindi na magbabago yan. And that is not the resurrection. Tayo, <laughs> hindi nagre-resurrect. Kasi probably itong mga tao to, in their own little way, are actually resurrecting. Kaya sabi niya eh, sabi niya sa Pharisees, Biwera, baka mabaya, the prostitutes, the tax collectors, are entering heaven. And you are not coming near at all. What? So we don't know how the Lord touches the hearts of people. Because His reason is that anymore, you don't have to go to Israel to see Jesus. Eh? You don't have to go to Galilee, to Jerusalem. When He got re- resurrected, I am with you always, everywhere and anywhere. Diba? So now, if we believe, we have to recognize Him in the many stories of people being raised up from the dead, from the parang kamatayan ng puso, kamatayan ng kaluluwa, they are raising up, they are being raised up. I think that's the church today. Yun ang panawagan ni Pope Francis. So yun nakalagay sa news na naman eh. No Holy Thursday, bumalik na naman si Pope Francis. Saan? Sa rehab ng mga drug addict. At dun siya nag Holy Thursday washing of the feet. When he went to the, to the community of Father Jean Vanier, and he was with autistic Down syndrome, when the Pope went there unannounced, huh? And he shared merienda with them. And he played this table football. Pag alis niya, after baka an hour with them, he did not preach a homily. Eh. He did not. He just stayed with them, eating with them. When they asked the men, men, malalak mo, tanda na eh. Autistic. Sabi niya, sino pumunta rito? A big man that is in white. O yun, alam nila. And he touched my hand. Or the other one, he was eating with us. They did not know he's the Pope. But he stayed with his people. He was not recognized as a supreme pontiff. He was known to be a man who stayed with them and shared their merienda, laughed with them, It's very simple, diba? The resurrection is very possible. That's the beauty of it, no? There's no more cordon sanitaire. Diba? So, let's therefore prepare ourselves for this Sunday. And as Chit is saying, there are many realizations, but the question is precisely that. How do we live? How much of the unbelieving Thomas is there in me? To what extent does my belief in the resurrected Christ affect my life? Am I aware of the Holy Spirit in the forgiveness I enjoy? Diba? Dami eh. There are good questions here and even reflections. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord of the divine mercy, we trust in you. Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.